We are now hearing for the first time from the man suspected in the disappearance of UVA student Hannah Graham. Jesse Matthew made his first appearance in court today for a separate 2005 attempted murder case in Fairfax County. His attorney is asking now that Matthew receive a psychiatric evaluation. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg takes us inside the courtroom. We have the case of Jesse Leroy Matthew Jr. Appearing via video link from jail in Charlottesville, sitting next to his attorney Jim Camblos, Jesse Matthews stared straight ahead as Judge Dennis Smith read the charges against him. Yes, sir. Matthew, who did not offer a plea, is accused of attempted capital murder, abduction, and sexual penetration with an object stemming from a September 2005 attack against a 26-year-old woman in the city of Fairfax. The charges are unrelated to the abduction charge in the Hannah Graham case and also unrelated to Matthew's possible ties to the abduction and death of Morgan Harrington in 2009. But on the subject of legal counsel, Jesse Matthew had something to say. Yeah, yes, sir. I would prefer Mr. Camrose to be my attorney if it's possible because I've built a relationship with um, dealing with cases down in Charlottesville, sir. Camblos argued he should represent Matthew in the Fairfax case, not the public defender. And I really have a problem with that. I don't think that would work. But the judge ruled that both Camblos and the public defender will defend Matthew. The attack happened as the woman was walking home from the grocery store. She was grabbed and taken into a wooded area. The Commonwealth's attorney here in Fairfax says that she's currently out of the country, but will come back to testify in the trial. I don't want to say happy because there's no joy in any of this for any of us, but I think she's satisfied that maybe we'll get some resolution. Pepe Manrique, who lives near where the attack happened, is also hopeful. It's a long time ago, it's 2005, and it's time for justice. This painful chapter will soon end. In Fairfax, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. Now, a trial date will likely be set at Jesse Matthews' next hearing in Fairfax County, which is set for two weeks from today. Matthew is expected to appear in person for that hearing.